Vector Durable has been introduced in Android Lollipop release for one year. We are getting many feedbacks that a good tool is needed for the developers to create access for Vector Durable and use them for older Android versions. Hi, this is Ting Hui from Android UI Toolkit Team. I'm happy to give you an update on our latest tool support to address those concerns. In Android Studio 1.4, we introduce a new tool for you to either easily pick one vector asset from Material Design Icon Library or convert your own SVG files into your vector drawables. Moreover, you can use this vector access even when you are building against pre-Lollipop pre release without any code change. That is very cool, right? First, Let's dive into the new UI we introduced in Android Studio 1.4. If you right-click on any folders in your application, you will see one menu option called New. Click that. You will see one sub-menu called Vector Access. Click that. You will be able to see this new Vector Access Studio dialog. Assuming right now, you just want to pick one existing Vector Access from Material Design Icon Library, then you just Click this Choose button. Then you will see a dialog with all the access in the library. Now, simply just pick one you like, then hit OK. Now you will see a nice preview for this vector access. If you are happy with how it looks, then just go ahead and hit Next button. Otherwise, there are some options on the top right of this dialog. For example, you can change its width and height, and you can modify the translucency of the whole asset or add auto mirroring support for right to left language. Know that the auto mirroring support is only for version 21 and above. In some other cases, if you just want to use your own SVG files, then please click this radio button set local SVG file. Then you will be able to open a file browser, pick your own SVG files, then, we, then you will be able to see the preview showing up. Given SVG is a huge spec and often contains many redundant information, although we will continue to improve our tool to support more SVG files. Currently, we don't support all of the features in our tool yet. If we found anything in your SVG file that we don't support, we will report it as an error at the bottom Please look into the details of the error message and simplify your SVG files and try to import again. Or if you're happy with the generated preview, then feel free to go to the next page. You will see an SML file with the preview showing up in your web slash drawable directory. And you only need to check in this simple SML file into your code repository. Hit Finish button now then the vector exit will be successfully generated for you. Now, I will describe how the backward compatibility works and its current limitation. First of all, if your app is targeted for Lollipop or newer versions, then the full API spec is supported. Feel free to modify and use the vector drawable according to the spec. However, we know many of you are developing on older platforms. In order to support older platforms which don't have vector drawable, with some limitations I will mention later, our Gradle system will generate the PNG access automatically for you. Here is how this automatically generated access looks like. After you build the app, if you switch to the project view, you will notice there's a directory called PNGs under the generated directory. Under this PNGs directory, you will see familiar drawable directories with different DPIs and version numbers. In simple cases, you will see a pair of directory for one particular DPI, like here, one triple S HDPI directory containing the PNG file, and correspondingly, a triple S HDPI version 21 directory, which containing a copy of the vector drawables XML file. This file structure enabled the build system to pick up the vector drawable for SDK version 21 and above while falling back to PNG files for older versions. There are some limitations when we are dealing with this backward compatibility support. 
we are trying our best to show the link errors in the vector gerbils SML file for these limitations. First, only a subset of API features of vector gerbil are supported. We are enhancing this now, but currently, group and clip path tags are not supported. Given we can only have one static PNG files generated to replace vector drawable in older Android versions, that also means in the SML file of vector drawable, we cannot support dynamic attributes, such as theming or auto-mirroring. And for performance concerns, we don't support resources reference to other XML files. Second, currently, the preview window inside Android Studio is using a display engine, which is different from the one used in the Vector Access Studio dialog and the build process. While we are bridging the gap between these two engines, a good practice is to use Vector Access Studio to import your asset and keep the imported result. Then, the generated PNGs will be always the same as you see during the import process. Last, if you have to typecast the drawable object in your Java code, be aware of that on pre-Lollipop devices. This drawable should be cast as bitmap drawable instead of a vector drawable. Also, set the drawable size properly to make sure they show up correctly in the older versions. With all these tools update, I want to thank all the people who helped to get this tool delivered. And I hope you find this is easier and more pleasant to use Vector Drawable in your application. Please follow us on more updates and improvements in the near future. Thank you.